Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I got my dual grade order back. This is going to be 10 cards, including a Bowman Chrome Justin Verlander auto. There's a Freddie Freeman in here, Evan Longoria. Uh, let's jump into it. I'm excited to show you guys the grades. Um, first one up is going to be an Andres Jimenez. This is the Atomic Refractor Bowman Chrome out of 100. You can see that right there, out of 100. Andres Jimenez. Atomic Refractor got a 10-10. So we do have a bunch of, you know, pop count ones on these. This is, um, I think there's actually two of these. So there's one more of these out there somewhere. Uh, PSA 10-10, that's 10 on the auto and 10 on the card. That just looks super cool. Uh, this guy had a 7.5 war last year. This year, having a little bit of a down year, I think his war is about 1.6 heading into the All-Star break. Uh, hoping he can pick it up in the second half, but overall, really, really solid second baseman. Defensively, this guy is probably the best. Um, won a gold glove last year. Got a feeling he might win it again this year. Uh, offensively, he needs to pick it up a little bit this year for sure. Um, also have one more of him as well. Uh, we have a Topps Finest, and this is going to be... 2021 also got a 1010. This one is actually a pop one. So that's really cool. I think, you know, if you guys go back and you watch when I was submitting this, I was sort of expecting a nine. Um, but I'm, I'm really glad that it got a 10. And um, I don't see anything wrong with it. I think I, I thought I saw a line somewhere in the card, but um, I don't see it anymore. So very happy with this beautiful card number three of 25. Andres Jimenez, orange, kind of cool color match right there. I know obviously he's on the Guardians right now, but really cool that the color does match with the Mets jersey. Um, next up, we've got a reliever. This is Andres Munoz. This is out of 499. This is a Bowman Chrome 2020 refractor autograph, also a 1010, also a pop one. Um, I can't imagine many people are collecting a ton of these guys' cards. You can get them pretty cheap. I think I got this one for around 10 or 15 bucks, and you can get them at about that price right now, too. He was injured a little bit early in the year. Last year, he was electric uh, with the Mariners, and so I decided to take a flyer out on him. I got this one, and I got one more. Uh, this is a Sapphire. This one came back in nine. I do remember there being a little bit of a line on the surface. Um, I was hoping for a 10. But it came back in nine. Again, you can get these pretty cheap. Um, it looks beautiful. The card looks stunning. But uh, definitely got a nine on the card, ten on the autograph. Cool card to have just in case, you know, in case he, he pops off and starts kicking some butt again. Could be nice. Could be fun to see. Um, next up, probably the best closer in the game right now. This is Emmanuel Classe. This is a Topps Gold Refractor Auto to 50. And this one got a 10-10. This is also a pop one. Really beautiful looking card. Really, really cool. Um, yeah, I just think this guy's stuff is electric. And I thought, hey, if this guy continues to keep playing the way he's playing, especially with Edwin Diaz being out, I mean, the value on his cards could just potentially just keep going up. I mean, I got this one. Um, I, th I think it was like around 60 bucks. I don't have to double check. I'm going to start seeing if I can include prices in here. If I can find something, I'll put it down Um after I record the video, just so you guys can see. But I'll put that one off to the side. Uh, next up, here we go. We got a Freddie Freeman. So Freddie Freeman, base Bowman Chrome. Uh, these are kind of tough to come by. They're not really listed very often. This is a nine card and 10 autograph. Uh, I do also have the blue Bowman Chrome auto of his that I don't plan on selling anytime soon. And I don't plan on selling this one anytime soon either. Um, but I'd certainly be more willing, I guess, in the future anyway, uh, to selling this one. The blue one I think I'm going to hold on to for a very, very long time. Um, here we go. Freddie Freeman having a killer year, batting over 300, probably one of the best hitters in the game right now. I know, obviously, um, Luis Arias is, is absolutely crushing it this year. You know, 400 batting average. He's going for the record. See how he does in the second half. But um, not too far behind him. You've got Acuna. You've got, um, I think, Freddie Freeman's batting like 313, which is number three. Uh, in the National League right now. Um, I don't think anyone's going to catch Mr. Arise. He is just absolutely electric and on fire. But uh, like I said, number three right now, I think is Freddie. I think number two is Acuna. Uh, this one is, a, there's a cool story with this one. Uh, this is a blue Evan Longoria to 150. Um, Evan Longoria, let's see, I think he's got about 60 war right now. Um, <laughs> 
I cracked this out of a BGS 8.5, and this came back a PSA 8.5. Um, this is a pop one. It's the only card that has been graded by PSA at an 8.5 with a 10 auto. So that's really cool. Um, I'm a little bit surprised that uh, more of his cards haven't been cracked out and submitted or crossed over. Um, I think he will be in the Hall of Fame conversation when he retires. I don't know if he will make it to the Hall of Fame. I think he's right on the cusp right now. So it really depends on if they want to include him or if they're going to be a little tighter as far as how many players they allow into the Hall of Fame. But Evan Longoria is a phenomenal player. I mean, the career he had is something that a lot of people really aspire to. And you can get his cards relatively cheaper in comparison to some of the prospects coming up. Um, I got this one for, I think it was 135. I'm going to see if I can find that one as well and try and put it in here just so you guys can see um, what these cards are actually going for and showing the prices. Let me know in the comments, by the way, if that's something that you like to see. If it is, I'll try and do it more. So give me a heads up on that. Let me know if that's something that is uh, something that you like to see. All right, I'll put that one right over here. Um, next up, this is probably the biggest one in the batch. Um, this one is is the card that I'm I'm not selling. This is, this is the one that I, I will hold for probably forever. Um, Justin Verlander, blue, Bowman Chrome Auto, number to 150. First ballot Hall of Famer, in my opinion. Came back a nine, and I love it. Um, cards a nine, autos a 10, absolutely beautiful. Stunning card. Um, if you can get something on Verlander, he is... <laughs> I think he's a first ballot Hall of Famer, honestly. Um, him, he's right up there with Kershaw. I think some of the best players of our generation, honestly. Um, without talking too much about Verlander, because I could probably do a whole video on him. <laughs> let me let me finish this up. We got two more cards left. Um, this one is Ben Joyce. Uh, this one is also a 10-10. It's a PSA 10-10, pop one, uh, Ben Joyce. Uh, he came up and he was throwing like 105 miles an hour, 106 miles an hour striking a bunch of guys out, but had some numbness, I think, going on in his hand. And being that he's already had Tommy John surgery, I think they're kind of making sure they can take it easy on him and, and give him some rest and see what's going on. But um, when he plays, he is he is insane to watch. I don't think anybody can hit him. His ball moves so much. It's, it's crazy to see. He's got this nasty movement on his fastball. He's nasty. Anyway, very happy to have this. Uh, next up, probably the player I've been collecting most recently. Got a Nolan Arenado. Uh, this is the 2016 Bowman's Best autograph, number to 50, the orange. I like Nolan Arenado a lot. I Let me know if you want me to do a video on him and his stats and why I think he's probably the best buy right now. Um, obviously, I got to put it out there just, just to you know protect myself and be safe. I'm not telling you guys where to spend your money. I'm not a financial advisor. But if you look at his numbers and you compare him to other players in the game, he's probably the most well-rounded player in baseball right now. Love collecting his stuff. One of my favorite players to watch. Absolutely love having this card. So really cool. I'll put this one off. Uh, that is the end of the submission. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys have a favorite. Uh, let me know if you guys like it. I'm going to try and put some of the, the prices of what these cards are going for. Uh, I might even put the pop counts in there. Um, yeah, I want to make sure I'm, I'm able to give you guys um, stuff that you want to see. So keep me posted in the comments. Let me know what you think. Um, if you've made it this far, please go down and hit a like, hit a subscribe. Um, really helps out the channel a lot. And I'll keep giving you some, some content. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right. Bye, guys.